Hey guys, welcome back to Time to Play Sly Cooper Blind, part 13, and I can't believe it, I'm almost done with this game. <sighs> It'll be nice to finally move on to something else. Kind of forgot where I was going, so kind of backtracking a little bit here and there. I don't know why, I just kind of lost my focus, but that's what happens when you don't play for about a week. So, once I finally get going on where I'm, once I finally realize where I'm supposed to go, I'll just start talking about some new stuff. I was able to play Sonic Boom Shattered, uh, Shattered Crystal on the 3DS over the weekend. Beat it, played it, and I, or yeah, played it, beat it. I said that backwards. And, oh god. Stay away from that one. Just stay away from the 3DS version. It is bad. It's bad in the sense of design. And it's bad in just the way of how it tries to trick you into thinking, oh, it's longer than it really is, but it's really not because you basically have to play through the level about three or four times to find everything. Yeah, there's a map at the bottom, but it doesn't really feel like it's doing that good of a job. And I hate the fact that you, you had to collect everything just to get going and just to unlock another level, you know? That should be stuff that should be done after you've beaten the game. That should be stuff that you want to come back. It should be optional. It's not something that should be a requirement. But even if that wasn't the problem, it's just the fact that it's going to take you about... Oh, that's right, this part. My heart warms at the very sight of you. Shut up, Ringtail. I don't know what you're doing here in China, but I'm sure it can't be good for whoever owns this place. You must only have eyes for me if you're too blind to see what's going on around here. All I see is a pathetic thief who's escaped justice for far too long. I'm proud to be a thief, especially when I'm stealing from a vicious extortionist like the Panda King. Open your eyes, detective. These quaint temples are a front for an illegal explosives factory. Don't try to confuse the issue. I don't know why, but those eyes in the background make it look more like Scratch from justice. Ice Age. Anybody else see that? I know I shouldn't have been talking during, but I just wanted to bring that up. Uh, so it's 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 not the gameplay itself that's really a problem, though I can see why people would be put off from it. Don't just play the demo and think, oh, that's good enough. It's not. It is not. It's not something I can highly recommend. I probably will review that along with the Wii U version. I'm, I haven't gotten that much farther in the Wii U version, but I can honestly tell you right now, I've actually had a, a bit more... <laughs> mess up there. Uh, I've had a bit more fun playing the Wii U version than I have on the 3DS version. I did not think that was possible. What the heck is going on with Sonic games on the handhelds lately? <sighs> I guess once I get a find a good price for the 3DS version of Lost World, I'll give that one a shot. So I can give an honest opinion on the last three 3DS games that came out from Sonic. Generations, Lost World, and Sonic Boom, because so far, oh my goodness, these are just terrible. Or these are, they're just not fun, they're, and they're so short that they don't even care. And that's what the bottom line is. It really feels like the developers didn't even care about these games. Huh. Like I said, that's just the handheld version. That's not the console. Still have to play through the the Wii U version because at least at the very I haven't beaten the Wii U version. But when you play through the Wii the 3DS version, not only does it just feel like it's not in the same continuity as the Wii U version or in the cartoon in general because. You know, they don't even know who Lyric is, and you know who Lyric is in the Wii U version, so one of them feels kind of out of place here. You don't really know what's going on. And I can honestly tell you right now, the story and the ending for the 3DS version is terrible. It's completely underwhelming and just unsatisfying on so many levels. And you kind of wonder, what was the point of all this? I never really felt like there was any real big threat. I mean, sure, Amy was kidnapped, but even the mind control device that was on her didn't even seem like it was doing anything. It worked on Shadow, but had no effect on Amy, and that's just like, what? Yeah, I don't think they cared, and to be quite honest, after playing it, neither do I. Ooh, didn't see that there was a... I was not really paying attention to what was going on here. I gotta say, though, like, the last world... I almost feel like they kind of ran out of ideas because they put in so many things from all the other places in the game. You know, obviously we had this, and then we had the Murray sections twice. And, you know, it's not like they were bad, but it almost felt like they were, like I just said, they kind of ran out of ideas, and they just said, oh, we'll just go along with this, and we'll just do it again. I mean, it's like most of them still fit. At least this fits. I wouldn't exactly say this is a gimmick because he is a thief on the run from the law, so... You know, I can edit it makes sense in that context. Alright, so... I guess with that kind of stuff out of the way, and I'll talk about Panda King, or whatever his name is, when I get there. Because, oh man, I'll talk about that guy for a bit. 
I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the generic Q&A session. And, let's see, last, last time I was able to finish up a series of questions real briefly, but real quickly. Kind of the same thing, sorry. So this time I'm gonna start off with Wind Mage PSP. Number one, have you ever seen the cartoon Avatar The Last Airbender or its sequel The Legend of Korra? I think I've only seen like a few episodes and while I didn't think they were bad, I just couldn't find myself getting into the series. Like I said though, I don't think they're bad, I just... something didn't click with me. Oh yeah, I was able to find all the vaults for this one. Nice. That's one less thing to do later on. Okay, number two. Do you have any plans to make a video talking about things that you like that are not related to video games such as TV shows? Yeah, that's probably not gonna happen. I'm gonna try and stay away from as many copyright problems as possible. TV shows and the like just seem like it's very dangerous territory. I can barely get away with what I've been able to, and that's under the fair use. And, you know, some companies aren't so uh, forgiving with the whole fair use thing, so... I mean, really, there's not a whole lot of shows I even watch now anyway. I, I think the, the one show I, I actually do watch, or at least like to watch whenever I can, is At Midnight on Comedy Central. Maybe a few of the cartoons on Cartoon Network, like uh, Amazing World of Gumball and Adventure Time and Regular Show. Oh, and Ninja Turtles on Nick. You know, it's, it's not much for me to really go on and have discussions about, so moving on. Uh, let's see, number three, have you ever played the handheld versions of the second and third games in the Mario and Sonic at the Olympic series? If not, then what do you think of the fact that they have their own unique story modes? I think it's cool that they have their own stories, but I'd like to see that on the home consoles as well as full CGI cutscenes to go with them. Number four, are you a fan of the anime called One Piece? And if, and if so, have you played any games based off it? Off of it? Nope. Sorry. Don't really have to say anything more about that. I haven't really watched it, haven't played it. Just, I don't know why, but just not interested in that kind of anime. Number five, did you pick Chespin as your starter for Pokemon X? And if so, do you regret that decision? Yes, I picked Chespin. No, I don't regret it. All right, who's our next set of questions from? All right, we got Dragon Blaster. Number one. Rare might be rebooting Banjo-Kazooie for the Xbox One. If they do, will you get one? That would be the only thing to get me to buy an Xbox One. It's like, that was, the, that was the thing that almost got me to buy uh, an Xbox 360, and I brought that up before. And I gotta talk about this a little bit, because I had no idea what the heck I was supposed to do here. And there's the irony. He tells me what to do, and I still couldn't figure it out. I was like, what? You know, it still felt a little odd. Like, all the other ones, you still had to do something. Or I made it clear. I know he said that, but I didn't know you had to hit it, and then you could hook onto it. So, I was lost there for a minute. I was like, where's the hook? And then I realized it's on the firework. Oh, boy. Definitely not one of my better moments of putting my brain in action, but oh, well. Here's the boss. Kane of Notorious Cooper Thief Clan. Have you come here for revenge? To steal back the thievious Raccoonus? That was my plan at first. But now I'm more interested in putting an end to your avalanche extortion racket. Why should you care if I bury a few worthless village in snow? You are a thief, just like me. No, that's only half right. I am a thief from a long line of master thieves. While you, you're just a frustrated firework artist turned homicidal pyromaniac. Insolent child. You shall pay dearly for your disrespect. Still... To honor your Cooper ancestry, I will send you to your doom with the beauty of my new firework technique, Flame Fu. Just saying it right now, this was probably one of the worst bosses I've ever faced because I could not believe how easy this guy was. At first I really didn't understand what I was supposed to be doing, I just kind of felt like, okay, maybe I should get up close, but his attacks are so easy to predict, so easy to dodge. It's kind of, it really is pathetic. All the other bosses have taken me a few t tries, but this guy, this guy, ugh, just no, bad, terrible. All right, question number two from Dragon Blaster. What do you think of Dragon Ball Z? Ugh. Sorry, but I have no interest in Dragon Ball Z. 
Do you just not like anime? No, there are animes I like. The last new one I watched was one that roughly translates to If Her Flag Breaks. I just have no interest in ones like Dragon Ball Z or One Piece. For, some, for whatever reason, they just don't appeal to me. I don't know what it is, I just... Whatever. No interest, and that's all I really have to say. If you like them, that's fine. Okay, number three. What would be a good Nintendo crossover? I think a good Mario and Kirby crossover. I think a good Mario Kirby platformer might be good. Donkey Kong, I think, would be too hard for them to really incorporate because I think the difficulty level just shouldn't be sacrificed. I think Mario and Kirby kind of fi fall more into line with their uh, difficulty settings. Okay, number four. Do you like the 100% games? Uh, I used to, but after getting on YouTube, I don't have time for that anymore. I'll wait until the fight is over and the cutscenes are done before I answer the next set of questions. Your skill with that cane is unparalleled. <laughs> Sly, I did a cross analysis of the metal used in that high tech blasting vehicle, and it turns out it can only be found in one place the Krakatoa volcano in Russia. That's got to be where we'll find the fifth member of the Fiendish Five. So get what you came for and let's get out of here! Retrieving the Panda King section of the Thievius Raccoonus gave me a chance to learn about my technically minded ancestor, Otto Van Cooper. Not known for his physical dexterity, Otto relied on vehicles to aid him in his criminal endeavors. Armed with his designs, I was sure Murray would be able to make some cool modifications to the team van. A frustrated Inspector Fox, having missed me coming down the mountain, threw the Panda King in jail, thus putting an end to his avalanche protection services and ensuring the safety of mountain villages throughout China. My gang and I took a little time off and did some shopping in Hong Kong. Thoroughly relaxed, we headed home to plan our next move. Huh. <sighs> Almost done with the game, guys. Almost done. Are you excited? I get to move on to something else. Okay, partner. This is it. A trip to Clockworks Lair. <sighs> I mean, like, the game has been fun. Don't get me wrong. We were on it's our way just... to the Krakarov volcano in Russia. Hmm. While looking over what little information I had on the final member of the Fiendish Five, I began to notice something. In the four parts of the Thievius Raccoonus recovered so far, several of the pictures depict a shadowy owl-like figure, which looks very similar to the police images of the mysterious clockwork. Is this a strange coincidence, or is there something I'm missing? All right, before I go back to the questions, I just gotta say, you know, up till this point, I thought all the character de developments and such were good. They had all these little backgrounds. But what was the background story for hey, this guy? Sly, the road to Clockworks Fortress is blocked. Do me a favor and shoot out that lock for me, would you, pal? Whoa, check out all those mines. Think you can pull them away and clear a safe path for us? Uh, just quite honestly, I just, you know, up to this point, it's like, he doesn't even have a background story. Sure, he's been there with through all the other Thedious Raccoonist pages, but... You know, why is he there? Who created him? Why does he hate the Sly Cooper family so much? Why? My hmm. scanners indicate the clockwork is holed up in that owl shaped tower. First things first, we've got hostile Robo Falcons at 12 o'clock, Sly. Okay, I kind of have a mess up during some of these parts. I really felt like the controls just weren't working as well as I had hoped they would. They just didn't seem like. I, I felt like I was hitting them. It looked like I was hitting them, but I didn't. Ugh. Uh, yeah, kind of ran into some problems here. Not too many. And the really big ones I do run into problems, I'm just going to fast forward or skip through. We don't need to look into that. Okay, sorry Dragon Blaster, let's finish up your last one. Uh, what games do you plan on getting this year? The ones I said in the E3 video and Sonic Boom, although, you know, Shattered Crystal on the 3DS, I, I kind of want to, I kind of wish I could just take that back. But I'm going to hold on to it just for references, just for any future projects. 
You never know when that's gonna come up. All right, let's see how many more I can get done. Donatello's 64 3D. First question, what's your opinion of- Okay, what, what is your opinion on Calvin and Hobbes, assuming you've read it? It's okay, but I prefer Garfield a lot more. Number two, which version of the Grinch do you prefer, the live action or animated version? You know, I actually like the live action Grinch with Jim Carrey. I don't know why, I just, I do enjoy it. And for what they had to do to expand it from that little book to a full length movie, you know, it wasn't a bad attempt. They did the best with what they could. Uh, let's see, number three, Godzilla or King Kong and why? I guess Godzilla, because there's a lot more comedy satire to be had. Number four, do you have any plans to play the rest of the Mega Man X series? Eh, whenever they come to the eShop. You know, I'm just going to talk over these guys, otherwise I'm never going to get anywhere. You know, cutscene's fine, but for these little parts, forget it. And I think I said that before when I first started doing this. Uh, so yeah, whenever they come to the eShop, I have X2 and I have X3. I still haven't beaten X3 yet. I gotta get back on that sometime. So I guess whenever they come to the eShop, or if I actually get the anniversary collection, I'll probably, you know, hopefully that's when I'll play the rest of them. Number five, why did you choose Pokemon X over Pokemon Y? The X makes it sound cool. Okay, next up we have Mitchell Lee. Number one, what do you what do you think makes a good boss battle? Ugh. I'll listen to the rest of this, I guess. Nope, nope, forget it. Challenge, music, and knowing when to switch things up. Number two, if you worked at Nintendo, what would you do to help their third-party rep? Get that list I made in action. See, number three, do you think that Super Smash Bros. would be better or worse if Nintendo did everything that the fans wanted them to do? It would be a mess. So many fans want things that contradict other things. I'm glad that they are thinking about what they about what things they can add to actually improve the game or have great promise. It's impossible to please all of us, but so far I'm happy with what they've done. Okay, except for maybe our corner of Shane characters, only because I feel that it still would have been more impressive to have had them as alternate costumes with different voice tracks. Look at Bowser Jr. and the Kooplings. Now imagine if the Kooplings were all clones with very slight differences. Wouldn't that make it? Wouldn't that make it feel like a facepalm? That's how I feel about those three. I know I just kind of uh, talked during the whole skip section. Wasn't really paying attention to that. Sorry. Uh, so, yeah, what happened there was that I... First attempt, I messed up badly. And here's my second attempt. Yeah, I didn't want to show the whole failure thing because, you know, you don't really need to see that. You know, I failed. You need to see the failure once, I guess. But and later on, there's so many more failures and I'm getting very close to the end of this video I better finish this up uh, number four do you hope Nintendo works a little more on DLC and online than what they are doing right now once again all these questions in this video were sent in by January of 2014 so it's understandable that many of these are outdated but yes I hope they focus on both areas later on and make improvements with updates or something you know I like how they've done it so far with Mario Kart 8 and Hyrule Warriors even though I don't think I'm gonna get the Hyrule, War Hyrule Warriors one I'm still excited to see what they could, what the, what uh, deals we might get for uh, uh, Smash Brothers. Real quickly, gotta do the last one. Do you think the Wii was a flop, an okay system, or a very good system? I enjoyed it. It could have been better, but I enjoyed what it had. And you know, I still have to make that list. Let's see if that wins in the 50,000 subscribers vote because so far it looks like win the list is gonna uh, dominate. So I guess we're going to see which list wins in that category. But, then, but you know, I had to go back and finish tallying up the votes, but so far it's been in such a dominating lead that list is pretty much the safe one to bet on at this point. Okay, so uh, let me close this down so I can see exactly how much time I have left. Oh, I'm almost done. Hold on a second. That was a little editing mistake on my part. I did not give myself enough time. I actually was about ready to cut this off in about 30 seconds. Or, uh, yeah, or about 20 minutes, 20 seconds or so. Even though I shouldn't be talking, because he's still talking, it's kind of hard to understand both of us. Sorry about that, Bentley. But next time, we're going to finish this. Take care, everyone. See you later.